All right, folks, good afternoon. This is uh, Dr. Paul. Thank you for tuning to our channel today. I want to talk a few minutes about acute lower gastrointestinal bleeding. Unfortunately, many, many people suffer from gastrointestinal bleeding. And I personally saw many patients with this problem. And uh, basically, this is bleeding. The name itself says all. It is the blood loss from the colon. So the upper GI bleeding, and how does it present? Like upper GI bleeding and lower GI bleeding, they present in different ways. In upper GI bleeding, you will see the melina or hematemesis, like you see that blood from the, like a coffee ground color blood coming out. But in the lower GI, bleeding you might see fresh blood or maroon colored blood what are the common causes of lower GI bleeding top of the list is diverticulosis that is the most common cause of lower GI bleeding please remember that then malignancy and many times cancer might present with bleeding then the polyps and colitis, hemorrhoids can present with lower GI bleeding, anal fissures can present with lower GI bleeding, angiodysplasia, ulcers in the intestines can present with bleeding. So those are the most important causes, diverticulosis, cancer, ulcers, angiodysplasia. And when you do physical examination on these patients, you should always see for any signs of hypovolemia. Because many of these patients, because of constant loss of blood, they develop hypotension, that is low blood pressure, and also tachycardia, that is high heart rate. So when you see low blood pressure and increased heart rate, you are looking at a, a serious patient who needs help so you should immediately act upon that you should order some labs like complete blood count serum chemistries liver tests coagulation studies and also you should plan for anoscopy sigmoidoscopy colonoscopy recently we have ct angiography looking for the bleeding vessel using a ct scan and there is also radionuclide imaging. So these tests will help you to see where the focus of bleeding. And once you see the bleeding, the treatment, immediately focus on that thing. So first you treat hypovolemia, the loss of blood, the loss of fluid from the blood. Then secondly, you have to treat that exact focus of bleeding so so start with fluid resuscitation blood transfusion and then go for colonoscopy and then do the intraarterial embolization sometimes if things fail you have to go for surgery if a major vessel is bleeding into the gut you do laparotomy just uh, pick up that artery which is bleeding cauterize it and close it up so basically, that is, those are the most important things about lower GI bleeding. Remember that the most common cause of major lower tract bleeding is diverticulosis. And the initial examination of choice in the diagnosis and treatment of acute lower GI bleeding is colonoscopy. So colonoscopy is the gold standard because so many people are suffering from cancer and that can present as lower GI bleeding. So if you hear in an elderly patient that he has GI bleeding, some, some blood in the stools, you should always take it seriously and do what is necessary. So those are the important points I wanted to share with you. Thank you.